Ah, there you are. Master I knew Kratos, you hadn't forgotten I will me. speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. There. Ah, you figured it out. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment. Splendid. I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh, no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neetho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <sighs> Please come back any time. We were just catching up. Of the first I am already here, Master Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could go. Not. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless Already you here. Something in Sparta first. So. I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the Stupid time! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. 